Texting Men with Class How to Communicate High Value and Get His Respect Part 1 Resist the temptation to shield your insecurities with laughter. A man can pick up on your confidence or lack thereof based on the authenticity of your LOLs. In certain situations, texting laughter reveals your insecurity. Don't use LOL or ha ha to feign semi seriousness. Using laughter as a cushion against being rejected or disagreed with will limit your ability to create authentic connections with men. In most cases, if you must feign semi seriousness, use a flirtatious emoji instead. Be genuine with your texts and save the laughter when making or receiving a genuine joke. Remember your ABCs. Always be confident. First, here's an example of what not to do. Kevin types, you still doing mini golf tonight? Amy replies, yeah, my friends and I try to do it at least twice a month. If you're not busy, maybe you should come with us. Ha ha. In this example, Amy ended her invitation for him to join her with laughter, so as to create the impression of that she's halfway joking. Now, if you have a lot of experience dealing with men and thus are more mature in the way you communicate, chances are you don't have this problem. But make no mistake, many women mistakenly use laughter to soften a potential rejection. Don't do this. It might seem like a minor thing, but you'd be surprised how easy it is for a man to pick up just how mature and high value you are, simply based on the way you communicate with them. Be confident and direct, and more importantly, be willing to risk rejection in a mature way. Sure, Amy might still be able to get him to join her even if she used a laughter shield, but on Kevin's end, she might still appear unsure of herself, perhaps needy and maybe even a bit confusing. Don't be like Amy. Because in that example, Amy is being confusing. Instead, be confident, be clear, and always be sincere. Of course, Amy might have simply been using her laughter shield simply to convey lightheartedness and nonchalance, which is always encouraged when texting men. She might have simply wanted to convey that while she'd like for him to join her, there'd be no pressure for him to do so. Even so, it would have been better for her to use a simple smiley face of some kind instead of the laughter. Here's an example. Kevin typed, You still doing mini golf tonight? Amy replies, Yeah, my friends and I try to do it at least twice a month. If you're not busy, maybe you should come with us. And a smiley face emoji. On Kevin's end, this reads much better and will not cause him to wonder if Amy is serious or just kidding around. The invitation is quite flattering, and the little smiley face does a better job at keeping the invitation light and breezy without sacrificing the sincerity of the invite. Now here's an example of what the scenario would look like if Amy was more confident in herself and clear about what she wanted, which is always attractive to a man. Kevin sends, You still doing mini golf tonight? Amy replies with, Yeah, my friends and I try to do it at least twice a month. You should come with. I'm sure you'll have lots of fun. And a smiley face with a wink. In this scenario, Amy is being clear about her intentions and confident enough to ensure him that he'll have a good time if he decides to come out. In this example, there's no laughter shield to soften the blow if he decides not to come. She's mature enough to give him the opportunity to show his cards by showing hers first. Now, I'll confess that if you're a naturally shy kind of gal, using a laughter shield every now and then won't turn a guy off or make him think he's texting a 16-year-old. Truth is, the more into you he is, the less likely you'll turn him off. Guys aren't as hyper-analytical as most women are when it comes to texting, so there's little chance of him overanalyzing a bit of insecure laughter here and there. That said, I'd still encourage you to at least aim for more sincerity with your ha-has and LOLs, so that they don't lose their potency over time. Keep them reserved for those moments when he does text you something funny, clever, or charming. Why? Well, because he's more likely to appreciate them, and thus more likely to cherish your attention. Remember, men enjoy winning access to a woman's pleasures and private revelries, that is, all those things that tickle her heart and make her grin from ear to ear. Don't rob him of his conquest by overusing your laughter as a buffer against rejection.
Oh, oh, oh.